Welcome to this next video on how to remove supports from Formlabs prints. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the build platform from the Formlabs printer. In this case this is a Form 2, but obviously the process can be the exact same between the Form 2 and the Form 3. As soon as this build platform is off, we're going to go put it into the Form Wash. The material that's being used is the castable wax. This is the continuation of the carburetor that we're going through, we're getting printed and then we're going to have cast it into a metal component to be used on a motorbike. So we can see this is what it currently looks like. It's got the support material on and it's still attached to the build platform. So there's going to be a few different ways you can actually attack a Formlabs print. The first thing you have to do is actually to take it off the build platform itself. Due to the fact we're using a full raft option, it's nice and easy just to pop off. With larger components such as this one, I tend to find it's a little bit easier if we actually remove the raft first as an entirety. So you can see I'm using the scraper, working my way around and just put applying pressure so we can remove it off. As it's a softer material, the, the castable wax resin, you tend to find it's then a little bit easier further to actually remove the supports off, which will be the next step. A default setting inside of Preform is that there is a gap between the part and the raft, which is set to five millimeters. This has a few purposes. So it allows for the IPA, when it's in the side of Form Wash, to actually transfer through the support material and clean it up. And also when I'm going through and removing it, as you can see here, I've got a little bit of leeway, a little bit of room that I can use to make sure that I'm not going to be inflicting the design itself. Now that the raft is gone, I'm going to start going through and actually removing off the support material itself. So for any detailed areas, it's usually a good idea to use the flush face cutters. It just allows you to actually remove the support points as close to the part as possible. However, uh, if you feel it's going to take quite a bit of time, or if you have got a larger piece like this, but the majority of it hasn't actually got those small areas on it, you can go through and just peel them off by hand. Obviously, you might find you're getting a few more support witness marks by doing this. However, we are able to remove the supports a lot quicker and still achieve a really good outcome. So we can see there are a few witness marks and white uh, blemishes from the castable wax resin supports removal. However, the majority of the parts are looking pretty good. But if we have a smaller component, we might want to use a different method. So let's take this as an example. So we can see how small this is actually inside Preform, which is Formlabs' slicing software. So I've gone through, I've applied the supports, and now what we can do is we can actually edit these. The reason I'm going to be editing these is just to take them off of the, off, off the edges, off those vertex points, and instead just bring onto the flat faces of the part itself. Therefore, when we're using our flush face cutters, we can get it flush against these flat faces and remove it a little bit easier. So now it's just simply a case of going through and actually snipping them off. So you see I'm taking a fair bit of care here, to going through and just gently removing off. As I said, it's quite a small model and you can see that with the size of it in, in comparison to the cutters and also my hand. And the resulting part looks a little bit like this. You can see we've still got a few tiny edges to go through. And again, I'm just going to run through the flush face cutters once more and just snip off any of these remaining support points. And here is our resulting part. There are a few witness marks left on it from the support points. So we could go through some fine grained sandpaper and actually finish it and clean up a little bit further. However, we're going to leave this as it is for now. So I hope this video has helped you understand how you can remove supports from your Formlabs prints.